Today, theme is people, behavior, culture, everything that got to do with people within organization. And I want to emphasize one element that uh, I don't think that we've done before. So there are people and there are groups, and they're not the same. Whatever you analyze people or analyze, I don't like the word, whatever you look at people's behavior or you're looking at team, it's a different dynamic. And I wouldn't use the same tools or the same methodologies in order to try to characterize, if you can, team or people. So there are so many tools that will tag people in different colors or in different nouns in order to define a predefined definition of certain behavior or certain personality. Um, and whatever I like it or not, I don't like it, uh, it really doesn't matter. When you are coming to deal with groups, you can't use the same tools in order to define what is the behavior of five people because you can't. Because it's five different personalities that in some way mesh together and now they are creating something new, the group, which has different set of behaviors than each one of the personalities within the group. And the best way to address that is its world views. So each one of us has a worldview, and worldview are you know set of norms and activities and belief system that uh, people are using in order to look at the world and create basic assumptions how the world is going to how the world is working and how they need to behave in order to succeed or survive everyone in different point of view in the world and when you're putting people together one of the th main thing that will happen before they even became becoming one holistic group that works very well together is that they will develop together a set of worldviews and when they have their own worldview as a team no one is going to speak about those worldviews, but everyone is going to follow them. And every new person that will add, that will be added into the group, will learn those worldviews and he will use them as well. And you probably saw it more than once that um, you're dealing with a group and everyone in the group share more or less the same worldviews. They have different personalities they have different memes, they will re behave differently, but the worldview is going to be the same. So my encouragement to you is start to look at worldviews and start to understand how people, what is the people worldviews, what are team worldviews more important, and while understanding the worldview of a team, it will be much more easy for you and for others to understand the behavior of a team, a dynamic of a team, and how team is interacting with other teams inside and outside of the company. So worldviews, go read about it, go focus on it, and if you want one small piece of advice, read anything that you can about spiral dynamics. That's all. Thanks.